Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I was not planning on doing a haul, so this video you're about to watch is shot super late at night. My hair and makeup is despicable, so I want to apologize in advance for that, for the, like, the lighting and everything just is no bueno. So come get cozy with me. I'm in my PJs in this video, Ethan. Um, but your sweat's on, your PJ's on, light a fire, get a cup of coffee, glass of wine, hot cocoa, bottle of vodka, and let's go through this haul together. Okay guys, so it's in the evening, long day on um, Tuesday, November 6th is when I'm filming this, it's actually my birthday. And I wasn't planning on doing a Christmas haul. But today out doing some shopping um, with my mom on my birthday and I could not resist. I found so much cute Christmas stuff that I want to add to what I have existing currently. So just had to show you my stuff. So first off, we started out at Hobby Lobby. I got this 26 piece Robert Stanley home collection. I don't know if there's like a name for this particular set of colors but it has some rose gold some like bronzy color a slate bluish gray that sometimes looks purple it has a really cool like oil slick type color coloring to it but it has these burgundy um, ornaments in it that i was like oh i'll just take those out and use the other colors because the other colors are already in my living room but um, there is puppy hair all over this uh -huh. But you'll see later things that I found that is like, wait a minute, maybe I'll actually use the burgundy balls. So this is the ornaments. It's 26, so it's front and back filled. So then the next thing I saw right out of the Christmas aisle in Hobby Lobby were these kind of burgundy aubergine feather Christmas trees. And I was just like, okay i think i need that in my life so i actually needed two in my life i don't know if it's a twin mom thing i tend to buy everything in twos even though i like things in groupings of three don't know it's weird like even at the store i will buy two toothpastes two gallons of milk two i it's it's a sickness people but um i got two of those aubergine whatever color you like to refer to this feather trees so cute and then you'll see later that i found some more somewhere else so i don't know if i'll use both of those or not but um then still at hobby lobby i just picked up a few more of the blush pink balls i did have some casualties in our christmas um bin some stuff broke um some real glass ornaments from last year so i was kind of needing um some additional ornaments to make up for the ones that broke so i just got this what 12 pack of the blush pink mercury glass looking um, ornaments and then two matte and then two shiny kind of a really subdued blush pink bigger ornaments I love varying sizes of ornaments in the tree I like really big ornaments small medium and everything in between and the next thing I got was just this really uh, muted blush pink crackled glass um, what I'm gonna do with this is um, put candles in it. I burn candles all the time, especially in, during the holidays. I don't really just like random candles sitting around, so I like to put them in um, kind of little containers. So I got this one, thought it would look really pretty, just earn a wear. And then this was kind of my one thing that was really a present to myself beyond the Christmas decor. This was like an all year round decor for me from Hobby Lobby so in love with these three I don't know what this would be it almost looks like a snake skin ribbed kind of ceramic um, ceramic little canister bottles um, three varying heights I am obsessed with these I may even go back and get three more because I'm actually thinking I'm gonna get a new mantle and I think three on each side would kind of look cool but even after the holidays these are gonna be up all year round so love those then the next store we hit up was home goods I grabbed some more ornaments these are a set of nine glass ornaments they're in like a diamond shape 
and most of them are the rose gold. There's a few that in here that are like a seafoam green, and I'm slightly a little bit obsessed with this green. Um, I've been seeing it a lot of places, and this might be next year's, if not next year's Christmas decor color. It might be like an actual all over living room color sometime because I've got the itch for the color and when I get an itch if I don't scratch it then I just can't stop thinking about it and so I end up trying out quite a few accent colors through my lifetime but this was the diamond glass ornaments love those colors together like I love blush pink with like Tiffany blues and like seafoam green type colors so and also at Home Goods, I got these um, little cone-shaped trees here. I don't know if you can see they're super sparkly, rose gold, blush pink color. What I was thinking was a grouping of three trees with these. So originally I grabbed two of these because I wasn't sure if I wanted one of these and two of the blush pink or two of these and one of the blush pink. But then later in the day at um, Big Lots, I found this one and it's almost the exact color but a different size because that's what was killing me about this pair of both trees that I got was that they were the same size and I like varying heights. So this color I think is close enough to this one that maybe these three together will be a little, a little vignette. We'll see. We will see. So then the next things that I got at Home Goods, I think I'm going to be doing a lot of gift cards this year. I'm going to try and make Christmas really easy as far as like the work, especially with my back shoulders. Um, wrapping paper, wrapping things last year was like horrible, so I did a lot of gift bags. And I just don't think it looks as nice under the tree. I feel like that's part of the ambiance of Christmas is like when you have gifts under the tree and it looks really pretty, but like the gift bag situation just wasn't doing it for me. So anyways, um, in light of not wanting to do as many gift bags this year, and since I do get a lot of gift cards, I got a couple of these silver and a little taupey kind of color. I got three of the small size. These were $1.99 each at Home Goods, which I kind of thought if somebody wanted to keep these as a little keepsake box or reuse them next year, I mean, by the time you put wrapping paper or a gift bag, tissue paper, a bow, that kind of stuff on it, you're spending dirt, you know, upwards of a dollar anyways. So I thought these were a really cute, sturdy option to maybe throw in gift cards or small gifts um, in. And then I got two of this size. These are going to be for little bigger items, more substantial things. I um, just kind of thought they were pretty and would look good under the tree. So striped, glitter, with the snowflakes on the top. Love them. And then I got two of those. These were $5.99. This is a super sturdy, substantial box that can be used year after year after year. So I might even give these my own immediate family their gifts in these so that I can recollect them. For next year. Um, last few things in my haul. I got four of these rose gold blush colored snowflake placemats. I'm kind of, don't really have like a vision yet for it, but I think I'm just gonna start throwing some stuff together for maybe a tablescape. I did kind of actually prefer the other side of it. It's really blush pink, less shiny. Maybe I'll do one of each. I don't, not really sure yet. Like I said, the vision hasn't come to me yet, but when it comes to me, I'll, I'll be able to figure out something to do with those. So I got a place setting of, of four of those. I did miss one of the bags from Hobby Lobby, which are just little um, sprigs of little twigs to put in the actual tree itself. I kind of um, have an obsession with owls. I just really like them. They remind me of my kids. They also remind me of my grandma. Um, so I got two little white owls. They're just on these sticks from Hobby Lobby. You just stick them. I'll probably keep them as a pair just because of my whole everything in twos kind of a thing. 
um, in the tree. It just has a little fun thing to add in the tree. And then I got these little, I don't know if you can tell, they're rose gold, shimmery, almost ice colored um, sprigs to put in the tree as well. These remind me of the um, Dr. Seuss Horton Hears a Who where he has the little speck of dust or whatever that he sees the people on. I don't know why this just reminds me of that book. I read it all the time with my kids. But so I grabbed three of these. I just, you know, stick them probably one at the top and like kind of stagger two in the lower corners just to spread this kind of um, ball throughout. But these are fun just to add like volume to your tree when you put like these kind of um, bushels of foliage or sprigs or whatever it might be in a tree. I feel like it just adds a bunch of volume and I like my trees super full. So. And then the last few things I got, um, I don't know how I grabbed this. I don't even know if I'll use it, but it is a wood snowflake banner. It was only $3.99 at Home Goods. Um, that's like actual looks like real wood. Um, it's on a, like a twine. Um, but I thought if I don't use it somewhere in my decor that I might do it above my boy's door to their bedroom just to give them a little decoration um, in their room or maybe even at my desk on my whiteboard at work. I just thought they were cute and they were $3.99 so I just did it. Uh, I found some Merry Christmas rose, like blush pink tags at Home Goods. I was shocked at the whole aisle at Big Lots that everything was white, rose gold, blush pink, silver, very icy but with the touch of blush pink and rose gold so if those are your colors that you're wanting to do this year hit up big lots because they got some stuff for you and then as i mentioned before i'm going to probably do a lot of gift cards and so i saw these gift card holders there was four for 2.99 at home goods and two of them are birch tree and then two of them i thought went really well with this other color that i might do touches of and so Probably what I'll do with these is put the person's gift card in it and then stick it in the tree as an ornament, especially since literally it's exactly what my theme is. I have birch trees and then a little bit of this aubergine color will go really well with, you know, kind of the, the color scheme we got going on. So. so that's kind of my haul. I hope you liked it. I'll pan in for some close-ups. Um, if I don't mention on the items where they're from or show the tag or the price, hit me up in the comments and I will answer. I, I, for the most part, can usually remember where I get everything from. So I'll um, answer your questions down below. So hope you enjoyed and I hope that you've got a little bit, um, some ideas percolating um, from my birthday little shopping trip. That is it for the haul, except I did forget one of my favorite things that I got during the whole shopping trip, which were these like cement gnomes I think they're garden gnomes but I'll probably put them inside so I'm gonna attach a clip of those right here those were from home goods but anyways let me know guys let me know in the comments below I'm kind of wanting to shoot some kind of like a mini get to know me or maybe even like a little bit of a Q&A do you have any questions for me shoot them below because I really have a hard time watching a YouTuber that I don't know a little bit about, at least personally. So, just feel like if I don't know you, even if your content's good, I have a hard time making the connection. So, anyways, let me know below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!